Welcome to the Golden Joystick Awards 2012. Uh, this uh, session, we're going to be uh, delving into the top gaming moment of 2000 uh, of the awards 2012. And uh, with me, uh, I've got uh, Ian Wilson and uh, Alex Dale of CBG, both still looking fresh. And uh, Matt Pelley's changed out of his cheerleader uniform, uh, referred to in a, that he was wearing for a previous recording, and into a skin type PVC cat suit. Uh, any reason for that, there, Matt? Well, I saw Batman was on the list, so I thought, why not get in the spirit? Uh, by dressing as Catwoman. Yeah. Interesting. So, top gaming moments. 18 of them. Massively exciting. Um, this was a new category, and it was really, we really wanted to celebrate, you know, kind of the, the best bits of the best games. Um, so, I guess we might as well jump in there. Uh, yeah, there's, so Ian. there's, there's an, it's an incredibly strong list of, uh, of moments in there. I mean, one, one that, that personally uh, resonates with me is the um, cruise liner sinking in Uncharted 3. Uh, I mean, Uncharted games for a, for for the whole series have been sort of known for their their set pieces and and sort of the the grand scale that they work on. But sinking in the cruise liner kind of took it to the next level, really. That um, you um, basically the the level was almost like rotating around you, so you'd be you'd be going along, suddenly there'd be an explosion. The, the floors become the walls, and the walls become the ceiling. It's kind of disorientating, but also. You, you're still working your way up because you know you've got to visually as well. That was just uh, and cinema, incredibly, cinema. Incredibly when you, see, lucky, when you yeah. saw, yeah, the water building up outside. What was originally the the top of the ship? Exactly. Yeah. When um, you when you're when you're in sort of a, a bedroom in in the cruise liner and you can see the the walls are on the floor. And I'm amazed. You, up, I'm amazed. You noticed that and, much. I mean, I was I was too busy like going shit <laughs> to like even notice. What I was mean, going I th- a lot of people might look at this and say, well, why wasn't the, the yeah. airplane moment from Uncharted three? I think that was like very short lived. That moment. It was a it was a great little set piece in the game for sure. But I think the cruise. Um, moment in that game, it, it had the legs. Yeah, like, it, it didn't feel like it was overdrawn, but it was a long, long. That's moment. a great point, man. And I think I think this list is going to be divisive, but again, there's a lot of debate in here. And I really feel that with those 18, 18 19 choices, we've really given you masses, masses of, of choice, and that there should be something in there for everyone. I'm mean, um, sticking with the nautical theme. I know we've got you pushed a Res- hard for Resi, Resi, didn't you? On, yeah. uh, Resi Revelations on here. There was this great. I don't want to go into it too much because I don't want to spoil it for anyone who hasn't yet experienced it themselves. But there was this great like pulling the rug out from under your feet moment that totally took me by surprise and mm. you know resi is in the game that you would usually yeah. expect to like to surprise you and to shock you like it does the scares but it doesn't really do anything clever not too much no, it's like oh here's albert wesker coming back again for the umpteenth time but <laughs> but it was a genuinely clever moment that i just didn't see coming i think in a world where there are so many disappointing endings i know for instance you know mass effect which has a great greatest moment in here uh, by the way maybe you can if we have time you can talk about it Matt but um, great to see two endings like the Spec Ops ending and the Batman ending again which I'm not going to spoil at all but just to say you know if you you are you want a bit of an absolute punch at the end of your game then they're two you've got to play um, Brave I think, I think the word brave I think would yeah. describe both of them what definitely. they did was very daring yeah definitely um, and again once that took people by surprise totally shot them Dana yeah. what, what, um, what's, uh, what's standing out for you on that list um, well, I think this has always been traditionally a, a category that throws a few curveballs because it all, all matters about what well, the most important thing is um, your personal experience with a game. Now, Journey, for example, I mean, how do you pick one single moment out of that game? You know, for every, depending on when you encounter another player, you know, each one plays out differently and different things stick in your mind. I think. Um, for me personally, Sonic Generations is another one like that where you, you know City Escape I love is one. That game. I absolutely love Sonic Generations. Uh, it wasn't a perfect game, but for just for sheer nostalgia of yeah. revisiting these old levels uh, mixed up. I mean, for me personally, my favourite moment that was just the Chemical Plant Zone. Yeah. But obviously, that change. It's um, it's going to be interesting to see which one wins out for that reason. Yeah. I think what's interesting is it's a, a cho- it's a list with very different moments. So we've got personal moments there, like say climb and throw the world in Skyrim, which is something everyone did at no particular time in the game necessarily, but it's just an experience we all felt. Uh, and the actual the scale, I guess, of the mountain would have been different for everyone. You might have been attacked by different monsters at different yeah. times. It might have taken different parts if you wanted to go a bit do a bit of mountaineering and go off piste as it were. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you've got like some some moments in here such as Gears of War three, which were very cinematic. They were yeah. obviously you know created clever, by Epic. But and, clever that wasn't it, the uh, the, the, the Gears it, moment. Yeah, it was really it was. the way he flashed back to the old days and then you know realised what he had to do and the ball became the bomb and I, I just thought that was uh, and Gears told a good story but it, only fragmentedly, but that was an absolutely incredible moment for me. Um 
again, I, I think I think in terms of uh, I really really like The Witcher. Obviously, as I might have mentioned a gazillion <laughs> times. I, I think that, that making a sex scene sexy in a game that's that was a first for me. Um, in terms of absolute pure. Get the feck in there. That's got to be the Dark Souls, Ornstein, and Smo uh, boss scene. I mean, again, we've all had our particular bosses that we've stuck on. I know uh, the Capra Demon was a particular nightmare yeah, for lots yeah. of players. But um, again, this is more kind of evoking a, an idea within the game, maybe. So, so maybe just because you didn't like that particular moment, you'll still see, you know, well, it was something in Dark Souls for me, and that'll yeah, point like, you in I Dark Souls' direction. I mean, that Dark Souls direction. moment is very much like a fist-pumping, like, yes, I've mm. done it moment. And again, quite a personal one, where something like in Skyward Sword, the whole, you know, it's a, a desert that turns into that's a just sea. A, around. That's, that's just, just a, a childhood, clip brilliant. childhood dis- discovery. It was yeah. like I was back, I was 12, year, 12 years old again, playing Ocarina yeah. of Time. You know, very different moments. And, and I think each one, it'll be interesting to see what fans decide resonate with them most of all, because they're so different from one another. Yeah. Totally. So, uh, with all that said, uh, care to pick a winner, gents? Uh, Ian? I'm going to go with uh, Uncharted 3's uh, Cruise Liner. Fair play. Alex? Batman uh, had a hell of an ending. I think that's going to take the mantle. Yeah, without spoiling it, the, the, the Batman shocker uh, and what Rocksteady um, got away with, I guess you could say, yeah. uh, was, <laughs> was astonishing and it's to be applauded. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. I, I, I just, I've just noticed that uh, we haven't mentioned Assassinating Hitler. I think that's a pretty epic best moment. So that's the one I'm going to plump for. So again, you know, agree, disagree, the choice is yours. Please head to uh, goldenjoystick.com and register your vote. Uh, every vote counts. You can now vote on our Facebook site as well. And uh, come visit us on Twitter. Say hello, win prizes and chat. Cheers.